In this video, I will tell you about three textbooks that are considered as the best books on topology. So let's get started. First, we will talk about the book, Topology, by James R. Munkers. The book Topology by Munkers is the most classical book in topology. You will find this book in the top of every book list of topology provided by any university. Actually the book contains very detailed idea and content, some of which are out of the scope of undergraduate topology. So, the first chapter is just a brief review of set theory, which is a common part in every topology book. The main stuff starts from here, chapter 2, and continues up to chapter 10. Each topic is written and proved very easily. And most of the examples and theorems here follows directly from definitions, more likely as real analysis. And as you can see, each section contains a good number of exercises. You can try them by yourself, or may take some help from Slater, that you will find in the I button. Secondly, we will go through the book, General Topology, published by the Sholmes Outline Series. The book General Topology by Sholmes is also one of the finest books in topology. You will find a lot of practicing problems in this book than any other topology book. This book contains some very standard and quality exercises at the end of each chapter, and those are also very different from that of Munkers or any other books. However, the first three chapters are dedicated to set theory, and the fourth chapter is a review of topology in the line and plane which was a part of Real Analysis Part 1. So the main topological stuff starts from Chapter 4. As I said earlier, the book has a rich number of soft problems, which is really very helpful to the students. Last but not the least, we will give a short overview of Introductory Topology by Muhammad Hitchin Mortad. The book Introductory Topology is actually a review book. So any student who is a beginner in topology, should not take this book as a first choice. The structure of this book is actually quite different from all other typical books. As you can see, the first part of each chapter is, what you need to know, in this part, all the key definitions and theorems without proof are stated, to help the students recall the things that he or she previously went through from other classical topology books. The second part is a true-false part, where some interesting and very basic level statements are given. I personally like this part the most. Then, in the third part, some exercises are given. The fourth and the fifth section contains tests and some more exercises. What is the best part of this book, is that all the solutions of the true-false part and the exercise part are given at the end of the book. As far as the contents, you can see it here. It contains total of 8 chapters. So this was it for today. If you like the video, then please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from this mathematics world. Thanks for watching.